Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the church, and welcome back, of course, to the organ. Now, sorry for the little delay between the last couple of videos, because, well, I, I broke my toe and I couldn't play the organ. I broke a toe and couldn't play the organ, and uh, now things are slightly better and I can play the organ again, so we are finally back at the organ. Now, today, I'm going to answer a few special requests that people have been sending over the past couple of weeks, so it's a special request video today. So... Like many of you know, for a couple of weeks now, we have had the CD, my new CD, Piping Hot at the Organ. You can buy it online or you can buy it directly from me. And since a couple of weeks, you can now also buy the music connected. And when I say the music connected, I mean literally the transcribed music as I played it on the CD. You can buy individual pieces or you can buy the works, as I've called it, on the web shop. The web shop, by the way, link down there or frasergarchor.com slash shop and you will find it. And today I have my own personal copy of the works with me and I'm going to show you what's in there. Now, we're not going to play all the pieces through. That would take forever. It would be a very long video. But like I say, people have been asking what's in there. People maybe haven't bought the CD or don't want to buy the CD. They just want to buy some jazzy music or some fun music. And uh, they want the copy of the music. So I thought I would present that to you today. And if you decide that you like what you hear and would like to buy your own copies of the music, you can do that. And at the moment, we have a special summer sale running. Uh, when you visit the website, frasergarchor.com, you will see a yellow banner with a sale coupon, as it were. So you could save 10% on your order. And especially for the viewers of this video going out, um, the first 50, uh, first 50 orders will receive a 15% discount when you put in this code that I will blend in here you get a special code and that's limited to the first 50 offers you will receive a 15 percent discount on your order so get in quick if you want to get hold of your copy of piping hot at the organ music right let's get in and have a look at the music so like i said you can buy your physical copy of the music or you can buy a download version you get a link to download a pdf version of the music and um that is of course slightly cheaper, uh, the download version. If you buy the printed version, you will get one of these rather magnificent tomes. Um, the works, that's 107 pages of music. And that's the recordings transcribed exactly as I played them. That was an incredible amount of work to do that. So once we did the recordings, obviously I filmed the recordings so that I could you know, see what my hands were doing. It wasn't just listening to what I was doing. And then I was able to transcribe the pieces note for note as I had played them. A lot of them were improvisations. A lot of them were sort of jazzy ideas that came on the day. I had already you know, had some notes for those things, but on the day, of course, you play something differently. And at the end, the recording might sound different than you think. So the exact transcribed versions of the pieces can be found in this book. Now, if you buy the works, like I say, 107 pages of music, you get all of the music that appears on the CD, and you get it in this rather lovely, professionally printed, bound volume that stays open at the console. That's very important. I didn't want music that was sort of, you know, a book that was glued at the back there because that just doesn't stay open at an organ console this does and as you can see i hope you can see that in the camera it's printed on very high quality paper i think it's like 120 gram paper maybe even sturdier than that it's very very high quality it's not white it's that lovely sort of cream off-white color so it doesn't reflect terribly much it's very professionally done and it looks amazing um, and it feels good in the hands too so if you buy the official version you also get this first page that you sort of get a sort of a personalized version from me. So I will sign that for you. I will, I will wish you good luck with the music, as it were, and sign it for you. So if you buy the official printed version, you get a signed version. If you buy the download version, obviously it's like half the price, I think, on the, on the web shop. But you don't get that personalized version. So there you are. It's up to you. Right. Let's dig in and see what's on there. Right. From the beginning, number one, A Handful of Keys by Thomas Fats Waller. As you know, I love the music of Fats Waller. He was himself a jazz organist, and he was, of course, more famous as a jazz pianist. On, and his, um, I think one of his most famous compositions for jazz piano, 
not, not the songs he wrote, but his piano-only compositions, probably the most famous is, of course, his Handful of Keys. It's fast, it's furious, and it is possible in the organ, and it sounds something like this. <laughs> very difficult to play that kind of rhythm on an organ. So it's all written there as you have to play it, yeah? Like I say, it's fast, it's furious. And that goes on and on and on for quite a fire. It's very relentless. It's good fun. The end part is incredibly difficult, I'll warn you now, but it's doable. It is doable. Now, there are a few blues numbers on the CD, and they have, of course, also been painstakingly transcribed so that you know exactly what I'm doing when I'm playing. So this is the first of them. It's a blues in the key of C, and it's just called the Westerwood Blues. You know, I come from this part of Germany. I don't come from Germany, by the way. Some people seem to think I am German. I'm actually British originally, don't forget. And um, I had a rather lovely conversation earlier in the week with another organist YouTuber. Yes, we speak to each other. Um, I've been in touch with Richard McVeigh, you know, Richard from Beauty in Sound. I'll link his channel down there as well because it's wonderful. Um, one of the, I think Richard has one of the best YouTube channels out there for the organ. I love his stuff. He does sort of regular live streams of live concerts and sort of sight reading music, sight reading hymns and things. He's an amazing organist. He's a brilliant organist. In fact, I love the way he plays. It's wonderful. Uh, if you haven't already looked at, you, at Richard's work on YouTube, please do. It's uh, absolutely amazing. I, I think he's wonderful. So there you are. Now, enough of that. He, he put a request in one of his videos for me, so I'm doing the same for him now. So if you haven't checked out Richard and his Beauty in Sound channel, please do. It's wonderful. Anyway, I am originally from the UK, but I now live in the Westerwood in Germany, the Westerwald. And I decided to include a piece of blues based around the Westerwood on the CD. And it's just called the Westerwood Blues, and it goes something like this. <laughs> And so on and so on and so on. I've written out, come and have a very quick look here. I've written out all of my fancy runs that I do when I'm you know, playing this kind of music. It's, some of it's incredibly complicated sounding. And uh, as I sort of worked it out to uh, transcribe this, you know, it's kind of difficult. But all the bluesy runs are in there. And I've notated them as well I can. Look at this page, for example. My goodness. Yeah? Just look at that. That very complicated looking stuff, isn't it? But uh, once you get your fingers and ears around it. It's not that bad at all. So anyway, that's a slow blues, quite easy to get your hands around, I think. Next up is possibly my most famous YouTube composition to date, and that is my Prelude in D. And that's been featured in a couple of videos already so far. It's a very soft and gentle piece, at least it starts out that way. It builds up to a huge crescendo to tutti on the organ, and then all the way back down again. So it's got that sort of Anglican cathedral organist improvisation style. I start off very, very gently and then build up with a melody and on it goes. So that, for those of you who haven't already heard it, sounds something like this. <laughs>
and so on and so on. Yeah, it's very sort of relaxing at the beginning, very legato. So if you're learning the organ and you want to learn a legato style, this is a perfect piece of music to get you going there. Um, lots of held notes, lots of exciting held chords, and it builds up and builds up and builds up to tutti on your organ. The bigger your organ, the better it's going to sound. So that's the prelude in D. What's next? We have another blues, and this is a blues in D minor this time. This is much more, much dirtier than the blues we had before, the Westerwood blues. Blue for you, D minor. <laughs> And so on and so on and so on. And that, that itself then turns into, again, we've got those bluesy runs that I had to write, at, but it turns into a sort of a big, big band style blues. So we've got a chorus in here that goes a bit like this. <laughs> So big, dirty chords in your hands. It's, you know, it's not easy to play, but it's definitely good fun once you get your way around it. Next up is our pastoral in F. That's another one of these sort of Anglican style um, improvisations. And this one is based on the hymn tune, The Day Thou Gavest, which everybody knows. And again, it's one of those sort of gentle things. I turned it into a pastoral, so it's in 6-4 time. And it sounds something like this So it's basically the sort of a four-part pastoral thing. Yeah, we've got a melody on the top. Obviously, we've got the pedals down there. And then there's sort of these meandering lines in the middle. And they sort of create all sorts of weird and wonderful harmonies. There's lots of sevenths and ninths and sort of crazy harmonies in there. And it modulates to places you wouldn't imagine it should. I'm sort of quite proud of this one as well. Um, does some rather exciting things. So that was the uh, pastoral in F. Now the next piece of music requires no introduction whatsoever. It's this one. But with all the right notes. So that's the Entertainer by Scott Joplin, given a bit of organ treatment here. I have, of course, arranged it for the organ. It's not just an exact copy, so there's a bit of rhythmic embellishment in there. Uh, I don't think I changed the harmonies, I just changed the rhythm to make it a bit more fun. Then comes the next and the final of the sort of classically styled numbers. This was a sort of a rather long, waffly improvisation on the CD. I called it Elegy, and I think it was the longest piece on the CD. It was 11 minutes, I think. And um, when I came to transcribing, I thought, no one's ever going to play this. Uh, it took forever, and nobody's going to play it. So I sort of completely condensed it down into sort of two and a half minutes. Um, so that it could maybe be used in a church service because it's actually quite a cute little number. It's very easy to play. It's the easiest of the pieces here by itself. And it's just, it's just a simple, simple little number in C major. Um, here's the opening.
we get a melody. Now, this is based on a German hymn tune. It's one of the Maria hymns that you find in the German hymnal. So if you don't know what it is, have a look. Spiritual time, yes, we have to have a few spirituals on there. And this is, of course, one of the most famous spirituals there is Go Down Moses. And that gets the, that gets the big band treatment here in the organ and sounds something like this. <laughs> comes and we sort of run through the melody and then it gets into a sort of a big sort of 12-8 bluesy tile. Yeah? <laughs> So it turns into a big bluesy big band number. Now, all of those rhythmic features you just heard, they're all in there. That's the way it's played. That's the way it's notated. So if you read carefully, you'll be able to play exactly like that too. It, of course, finishes with a huge... I mean, just look at the chords on the last page there. It just finishes with a huge tutti monster. Yeah, it's incredibly loud. So, yeah, that's that. Now, we've already featured Fats Waller, but what about Fats Waller's teacher. Yes, that's what I was taught to play the piano by someone that somebody was James P. Johnson. And James P. Johnson was the composer, for example, of the tune The Charleston, same as the dance craze. And he composed a beautiful little number called the Snowy Morning Blues, which fits perfectly on an organ. <laughs> All these weird, all these weird sort of runs I've got there. They're all notated so that you can get them. So that's the Snowy Morning Blues. It's not really a blues as such, but it's a, a rather cute little piece. That's the Snowy Morning Blues. Ah, now the next one is a more of a blues again. This is one of George Gershwin's most famous little numbers. Um, you've all heard of his opera Porgy and Bess. Well, this is one of the tunes from Porgy and Bess. It ain't necessarily so. Uh, that's not grammatically terribly correct, but it's rather a wonderful bluesy number. You may recognize the melody. Let me sort of get over the page here. <laughs> And so on and so on and so on. Now, all those little rhythmic things that you hear there are notated. For example, the left hand. All those sort of held notes anticipating the next chord. Yeah? It gives it sort of a bit more, a bit more of a rhythmic touch. It's just rather than you're playing four beats in a bar. Yeah? We give it a bit of... Much cooler. It's quite difficult to do that, by the way, so you will get used to it eventually. Next up is our Piping Hot Boogie. That's the title number of the CD. I'm going to play that at the end to show you that it is once again possible to play a bit of boogie woogie on the organ. So it's all written out here exactly the way I played it, the recording, with all the weird and wonderful... With all those weird and wonderful runs, they're all there. That took a while. <clears throat> but yeah, it's all there. So bit of boogie woogie if you want it. And the final piece is another wonder from the, uh, from the gospel world. Glory, glory, hallelujah. And that starts off in a sort of a nice tutti majestic way. <laughs> We 
get a sort of a, the tune is represented and then I sort of try and turn it into a bit of New Orleans style. <laughs> sort of cool rhythm stuff and then I this was recorded in the organ in Gackenbach with this amazing tuba one of the best and most wonderful tubas you can come across anywhere in the world so I used that for a rather sort of cool New Orleansy style solo that sounds something like this <laughs> difficult to play when you're reading it again for the first time uh, but yeah that's that's how this piece goes and then it builds and builds and builds turns up into a sort of Dixieland jazz march and finishes with an enormous amen <laughs> would sound better if the organ was in tune. So, whew, there you have 107 pages of Piping Hot at the Organ, transcribed specially for you. Go buy it. Right then, there you have a brief introduction to the uh, Piping Hot at the Organ music book. So if you want to get your own copy, down there, frasergartro.com slash shop. And don't forget the first 50 orders using this coupon code, this special for you coupon code, will get 15% discount. And after that, it's only 10% discount, but until the middle of August on any order from the website. So get in there fast. Right, uh, now... We're going to be back out and about again soon, visiting new organs. We haven't been able to for the past couple of weeks, still because of corona. People aren't really letting us get out and about. It's rather annoying, but we think we're going to get, 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 get back out and about to some new instruments very soon. We haven't forgotten about our Toccata series. We're still working on that, of course. I'm, I'm probably going to do that on a more exciting organ when we get around to it next time. And, of course, I'm still working on Passacaglia for you. That will be coming out. So there's still a lot to do. So the future is definitely uh, certain for the channel, so that's that. But today was a brief little introduction to the music of Piping Heart at the Organ to answer some of your requests. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Here's some boogie woogie. Boogie woogie.